Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. Um, hope that background noise isn't too bad. So I just want to say, you know, after just thinking and feeling things out, like, there's just like, to think that, like, to have that perspective that, like, nobody gives a fuck about your feelings and shit, like, I, 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 I can comprehend why people think that way. I mean, it's been, I don't know if I've ever thought like that in my whole life. Like, that's, that's, Somebody who's lost in pain, somebody who's lost in suffering, somebody who's lost in hurt, somebody that's looking for somebody to, I mean, it's, it's <clears throat> very much along the lines of victim mentality, somebody who's looking for somebody to come and save them and right all their wrongs and fucking, you know, turn everything into magical fucking beauties and I don't know, just, I'm just starting to like, I've, I've I'm, I'm mixed up because I'm, a part of me really like, my soul is really compelled to try and to fucking just try to help somebody like I see his suffering that I feel like I have whatever 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 so it's like I'm trying to like I'm compelled because I really want to help that individual because I can see they're in pain and they're hurting and they don't even know what to do with themselves in my opinion that's that's what I see when I see a certain person um but I gotta be honest with my needs too because I it's been a very long time since I've been intimate with somebody not just in a sexual manner, but also just, like, in space, like, to share an intimate space with somebody, to be open, to be vulnerable, to, to talk, to communicate, to, to hear, to listen, to, like, to touch, all these things, it's been a very long time, like, and, like, the time that I had was nothing but a fling, so it wasn't really shit anyway, so it's, like, I, it's a need, I, I have this fucking need, and, um, I'm sitting here, so it's, like, I'm trying to, like, cultivate somebody into being something that they're not right now which isn't really good to do in the first place but um th that's all i can do because it's like i can just tell like there's no way this is going to work with somebody who's like thinking on the completely opposite so so way of like doing like I i'm here to save the fucking world like and it's and, like i'm trying to deal with somebody who doesn't even want to care about other people's feelings like it's like this is ridiculous like what the fuck is going on here so you know, like, what's coming through to me, like, this is an opportunity, I'm sure, I'm just gonna spout it out there just so that it's out there, you know, like, I feel like Jennifer Aniston, like, I'm, I'm like, there's some, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling drawn towards Jennifer Aniston, to be honest, and I feel like she's the type of person that would probably relate to, like, me not, like, I feel like she cares, I really do, like, even though there's some things that I'm not super agreeable about, like, they're really, they're kind of minor in comparison to, like, she has a big heart, like, she has a very big heart, I truly feel like she really does care about other people and human beings, especially those that are in her life, and um, even maybe the even even maybe the ones that wronged her. Like she's, that's kind of how I am too. Like I can I, I can relate to very like, that's a very strong part of who I am is being able to do. This. Doesn't mean I like them or want to spend time with them, but I still love them and care about them. Even and I heard if I heard that they were hurting, I would still want to do what I can to tell to help them out. That doesn't mean that I, I like them, I want to be their friends, but it means that I still care about their feelings. Um, whereas, like, from her own mouth, like, a particular person doesn't share those feelings, unless I've been mistaken, but, you know, she just made a video with the title, or, I don't know if she actually made a video, but I saw she was about to make a video, and she's talked about this before, that nobody gives a fuck about your feelings, that that whole, like, mentality is, is what's fucking up this planet, it's what's killing everything, to be honest, because it's, it's why I give a fuck about other people, why I give a fuck about the planet, why I give a fuck about the trees, why I give a fuck about the birds, why I give a fuck about this dude, like, it's just that's a fucked up way of thinking in my opinion and um so like the what's coming to me now is like i feel like jenna for anderson again because she has such a big and compassionate heart and i also feel like she she her heart goes out to a particular person because the way that she grew up was so fucked up you know that she, she wants to help and so from like one feminine to another like she sees that this other girl is hurting and can perhaps use some help if she wants it that, that Jennifer Aniston and maybe a, a circle of friends around her and her peoples like would be willing to help her out um, and like maybe it, as, as she gets help and as I continue to get help and grow and learn and all these types of things and, and recovering over these things that have hurt us um, you know perhaps there's some type of a union that could connection that could manifest between us I, I mean maybe i don't know dude like you know it's, it's strange to feel so close to somebody in certain ways and then to hear them say things and it's like what the fuck like what's going on here so i think a particular person's having trouble like sharing that side of herself with the rest of the world 
And so until she's able to do that, like we're like it's nothing's ever really going to happen between us. Like so, it's like this could help her start to start to learn how to share that part of herself um, while we were getting to like to know each other. Like and so it's like maybe like for um, I'm thinking friends is a good place to start. Like if we can be friends and that's a good step. And then maybe from friends, like, we can move into something else. Like, that's what fucking happens. But, like, I already feel like I could be friends with Jennifer Aniston. I just do. Like, I already feel a kind of a kindred-type connection to her and, and, and people like her. So, it's like, it would be easier for me. And I feel, I'm, right now, I'm feeling more drawn to being in a relationship with Jennifer Aniston because I'm able to, like, sit back and be like, yeah, dude, I care about other people. Like, that's a big part of my life. It's something that I really love about myself. And I, I strongly want that in my partner. Um, I've been spending so much time on a particular person because I truly feel like she's my soulmate. So it's like, well, fuck, dude, that's my soulmate over there. It's not just another girl. Like, that's essentially another part of myself that's, I feel lost and hurt and just all over the place and doesn't really know what she's doing. And so she's just looking for things to, like, keep her going. And But those things might not even be good for her. So it's like, I'm, I'm sitting here, like, you know, conflicted because it's like, okay, on one hand, I could just try to find something else that's more along in my lines and my avenue and what I really like, or I could continue to try to help somebody else. But in doing that, I myself am, am getting hurt and I'm also being deprived of things that I need as a man. And we're in a very critical time right now with, with the reality and everything that's going on in the earth. And it's like, I could strongly, and like, since I'm not taking these, all these creative and these kavas and shit anymore, I'm not having these, you know, super euphoric highs all the time. So it's harder for me to create <clears throat> without those herbs so it's like oh, this would be a great time for me to be with a woman because a woman you know there's certain experiences that i can have with a woman that's going to help perpetuate that type of creative juice and the type of hot you know the, the i think you all know what i'm talking about so da -da -da -da, you know that can help creativity because it is essentially a part of creation is like you know being with people that are that whole thing is is very it can be if it's done in the right way with the right people with the right intent can be a very perpetuation it can be a good way to perpetuate more loving creative energy um as well as somebody to talk to and somebody to bounce ideas back and forth da -da 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 -da. and so it's like right now i'm feeling like that's the best idea for everybody involved um so anyways i thought i'd just share that all right love you all take care bye